Howdy! Today we are tying the fourth of seven knots with seven crossings. This knot has been made famous in various contexts, known particularly as the so-called endless knot. For you Alexander Briggs accountants, it's the 7-4 knot. Let's tie in. Tying this knot is more of a braiding exercise than anything else, so we'll keep things loose. Start with a loop set up at an angle. Set up a crossing that brings the ends up and around the crossing. Now we'll weave both of those ends through the original loop. One over under, the other under over. As usual, we'll bring the knot into standard form by connecting the ends together. And now we can dress the knot for inspection. Looks pretty symmetric, no? To make contact with the Buddhist endless knot, we need to include two twists at the top and the bottom. Despite that it looks like it has nine crossings, these are just a pair of type 1 Reitermeister moves away from the seven crossing knot. Have fun trying to make this one as symmetric looking as possible.